Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks. Today, I made my favorite cake layers in the world, God send cake layers that I come up with, and I decided to do a coconut cake with them for Easter. This is going to be called the God send coconut cake. Let's get started. <music> Godsend cake before you know what I'm talking about about it being too wet look how nice and the way the texture is with this so it would make good cupcakes and everything else adding that extra cup of flour in there so if you've got the old recipe written down make sure you replace it with my new one Woo. okay so we have three eggs in our mixer we're gonna start out with those and they're at room temperature and we're gonna start mixing up our cake We're going to throw in three quarter cups of vegetable oil. This is corn oil. We're going to add an eight ounce can of crushed pineapple, juice and all. We're going to use two cups of mashed banana. So I'm just throwing in three large bananas. really really ripe you want to use ripe bananas they got some bad places on them take it off now I had to take off quite a few bad places so I'm going to open up another banana and throw in about another half a banana to make up the difference. And I'm going to fold the coconut pecans in a minute after our dry ingredients go in. So we're going to add in a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to add the cake mix. It's a strawberry supreme. Do not get cake mix. It already says it has pudding in them. I think those are Pillsbury and Duck and Hines. Make sure they're not a pudding in the mix, cake mix. Just the strawberry uh, Duck and Hines is great. Now I'm going to add an extra cup of flour. And this is self-rising flour. And you need to use self-rising. If all you have is plain flour, then add a little baking powder and soda to it. And uh, goes in there. Don't need to mix over a couple of minutes. So we're going to go ahead and throw in a half cup of flake coconut. And a half cup of chopped pecans. Now this is a fruity cake. So it's going to take it longer to get done than normal cake. You're also going to want to turn down the oven temperature a little bit so that it can cook and not get too brown. Spray the bottom good so that it flips out easy since it's got fruit in it. Let me move this flour out of my way. Oops. If you lay out everything, you can have this done in five minutes. All right. Here we go. Make sure that you don't use two eight inch layers uh, because this is a lot of batter. So if you're going to use two cake layers, do the nine inch instead of the eight inch. I'm using three eighths. You can use um, three nines as well if you don't mind them being thin. Wow. 
when me and Chris were young, it was never a time that I didn't have a fresh cake made. And now that we're in this time where there's a pandemic and we're all stuck in the house, I am sure I will definitely have something sweet made all the time. I'm gonna get a toothpick. We're gonna stick in there and see if we think they're done. Looks great to me. I'm taking them out. You can see how they pulled away from the sides a little bit. And when you press them, they should kind of sponge back for you. Um, and always use the toothpick method as well. Now, like I said, if you really want a rich cake, you can put uh, cream cheese on it. But this is how I think it would be best served. And that is using whipping cream and coconut and letting it be like the coconut cakes that's got all these goodies on the inside for a change instead of just plain coconut. So we'll put a little bit of coconut in between the layers. Do that layer. Now this is a tall cake because it is a full cake mix with another cup of flour. So keep that in mind. If you don't want it this tall, then make nine inch layers. A little extra on the top. And now we are going to put coconut all over it. Now it's almost Easter, so for Easter you could color your coconut green and put Easter eggs on the top. Uh, it'd be really pretty. Or you can just do it like what I, you know, like I'm doing it now. Everybody's gonna absolutely go crazy over this cake. This is a recipe that they're not gonna have had somewhere else. Uh, something really different, but really delicious at the same time. Normally, I do that over a bowl. I guess I should have. Or over some parchment, and then you can pick it up. Stack it back on there. Make sure you use the whole bag. Now, we used a half a cup of coconut in the cake layers. This is a 14 ounce uh, package of Baker's coconut. So you'll wind up using it all to make sure that, I mean, you know, don't waste any of it. Go ahead and put it all on the cake. So stand back and look, and if you got some holes, fill them in. I did freeze these layers just for about an hour before I iced them. It's a smart thing to do, y'all. Yummy. Right, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna cut out one that I'll make a picture with. The first one always makes a mess. You will not find a better cake than this. Everybody loves strawberries. Everybody loves bananas. It's kind of like a strawberry banana cake with coconut and pecans and pineapple. It's everything that I love in one cake. Is that 
look delicious or what? I couldn't wait for Chris to turn on the camera, y'all. I've already ate part of it. Let me just say this. If you made my God Sin cake before, this rendition is better. The cake is a lot more cakey. It's not so uh, packed. And the, the first one that I made was a little bit too wet. This one's perfect, spot on. So that's what I like to do before I put a cookbook recipe in my cookbook is make it absolutely perfect. And uh, this is not a recipe that was somebody else's, so it took some altering until I got it just right. Uh, let me just say that I'm going to make this cake with coconut and Cool Whip for the rest of the time I make it. This is definitely going to be my new signature cake. It is absolutely the bomb. The bomb. Mm. But this cake really should be on everybody's table this Easter because it's beautiful. It's got everything delicious in it. Everybody will love it. If you are shut in right now and you can't get out and you've got the stuff to make it, please make this cake. If you don't have a strawberry cake mix, but you've got some strawberry gelatin, add a little gelatin to it and make this cake and enjoy it. Um, we appreciate all of our viewers and we love you. Thanks for watching Color Valley Cooks, where we cook this one like Tammy did. <laughs>